Okay, so now that we've got our basic crop, and it wasn't that fun. Um, now, the main thing I'm noticing right now is this dude over here is kind of lonely. He's way off to the side. I'm going to actually go ahead and bring him on in a little bit closer. So I'm going to go... Uh, Actually, let's uh, first of all just duplicate this. Because if I just copy it, we're going to lose all the layer mask work that we just did. And we sure as hell don't want that. So, okay. So I'm going to make this top layer these guys. So they can be in the forefront. And I'm going to erase him out of that layer. Cut. And this one is going to be the opposite. I'm going to erase these guys out of this layer. So there you go. Now you can see if you look in the uh, thumbnail there that we got three guys on this top layer and we got one guy on the bottom layer. So I'm just gonna select that bottom layer, move him on in so he's with everybody else. And there's a little bit of uh, the layer showing through there. So let's uh, click that layer mask and just fix that real quick. And that's looking pretty good. Alrighty. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and lock these two layers so they're together. And I'm going to bring these guys up into the picture. So this is what we're working with so far. I'm going to compare this with this other picture. And I don't know, I kind of like them both. I'm actually going to try to work with this one for the moment. And uh, I'm going to duplicate it so we have that version saved. And then I'm going to transform this and bring this, stretch this out even a little bit more. and stretch it out this way a little bit as well. And let me also try flipping that, transform, edit, transform, flip horizontal. So, I don't know. Something like that's kind of cool. Okay, I'm gonna do a uh, bring this guy in a little bit more, and then I'm gonna just go ahead and copy this and copy this. That way, I've got uh, those copies saved, and I'm gonna merge these two, and now I've got just that layer. And I still have the uh, other versions saved if I need them later. But that'll make it easier to work with this because we have all these guys together now. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And I'm going to add an adjustment layer. <clears throat> now there's different ways to do that. Here's your adjustment layers. If you just select an adjustment layer from here, it's going to adjust everything beneath it. So all your other layers will be adjusted by it. If you want to only adjust the layer you're working on, click Alt and then choose the adjustment you want to make while you're still holding down Alt, of course. So I'm going to go to Hue Saturation. I'm going to click Use Previous Layer to Create Clipping Mask. And now we are only affecting this one layer, as you can see. So that is pretty darn spiffy. I'm going to try bringing down the saturation a little bit.
And I'm going to do another adjustment layer of, uh, let's say, levels. And again, I'm hitting Alt. So we only affect the one layer. And I'm going to just blow them out a little bit. So that's looking pretty cool. I got the tough biker mafioso look going on, so it's almost reminding me of the Sopranos. So that's kind of what I'm going for here. I mean, if you want to get really crazy, you can bring saturation down to nothing. They're all black and white. Uh, which I might end up doing, but for the time being, um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to go ahead and add a photo filter just to this layer again. So I'm holding down Alt. Use previous layer to create clipping mask. And I want to use a warming filter. And you can go ahead and adjust that however you want. So now they're black and white, but they got a nice sepia gold tone to them. So that's pretty slick. <clears throat> now what you could do is just on this one layer, change the hue saturation. And you could make that all blue. And that creates kind of a nice Gotham look. I'm going to go ahead and add some curves just to that layer again. And we can just bump up the contrast. Since we changed that to blue, I'm going to go back to my photo filter for these guys and also change it to blue. And you can play with your blue shades until you get something nice. Okay. And that's pretty spiffy. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's bring that down a little bit more. And I'm gonna add a little bit of saturation, just a little bit of color. Not much. <clears throat> and control S to save. And on these guys, I'm gonna go ahead and select where the picture ends, which is right about there. And I'm going to add a layer mask. But actually, let's go ahead and invert that selection. Then add your layer mask. And boom, you get it cropped where you want. <clears throat> so that looks a bit better. I like it. <clears throat> 